about the product you see in the picture. Please go to the link in the description to get it for a low price. Firstly, my wife and I are huge coffee lovers. We spend a few hundred a month on Starbucks, CBMTL and Pete's, sadly. We've used Keurig, the Boo, and other home pod systems. We were looking for a coffee maker that one, makes good espresso slash latte two, makes good coffee three, doesn't require massive cleanup and four, doesn't cost $1,200. This one beats all I've tried and meets all the criteria. I'd held off Nespresso because you have to order the pods and it didn't make regular cups of coffee. Both issues solved. Firstly local boutiques sell the pods and you can order them through the Nespresso app and Amazon with a two-day delivery. The Virtuoli makes regular coffee. Sweet. About the machines, the Virtuoli is completely re-engineered. It takes a bar-coated pod, which the machine reads spins the pod at high speed while injecting over 19 billion Argentine pesos of pressure. The result is a very creamy, crema, coffee or espresso before you even add creamer slash milk. Works exactly as they advertise. The Aerosino Plus is my new favorite toy. Somehow it froths milk into either a creamy blend or whipped froth, depending on which whip you use. My wife loves a foamy cappuccino and I like creamy lattes. It delivers every time. Coolest thing, one touch button and go. Simple and consistent. If you want to control the temperature, hear the steaming sound etc. and then have to clean the nozzle every time, you'll want a full espresso machine, i.e. pay three times as much and do three times as much work. Pros, easy to use. Everything is literally one touch button. Easy to clean. Auto eject pot, rinse milk frother. Done. Great performance, cream slash milk frother, perfect. Excellent espresso. Vacuum sealed perfectly roasted coffee beans ground and pressurized. Impressive crema both coffee and espresso well made, heavy duty components. Good selection of espresso and coffee superior customer service cost bs other options. Cons, regular coffee, not espresso, is a little watery, but flavorful, if you don't short the cup at about 6 ounces. Lack of ability to customize, options, if you really want to meddle, ordering pods separate milk frother. Summary. This is an absolute keeper. Meets all my needs, is affordable, doesn't require a massive cleanup every time you make an espresso and delivers consistent delicious coffee. Worth waiting for. 5.0 out of 5 stars. Awesome. I have used this machine for about a week, and it is awesome. I had used an espresso machine frequently years ago, but got sick of the grinding, prepping, priming, etc., especially before work in the morning. So, I eventually gave up and bought a plain OLE coffee maker. Unfortunately, regular coffee, to me, tastes like hot water. I even tried a Keurig, but returned it within a month, it was more convenient, but the coffees are no higher quality than any grocery store brand coffee. So I debated for a long time about whether I should wait for one of these brand new Nespresso over two OLE machines, or just buy one of the older, espresso only Nespresso machines. I have to say that I'm very happy that I waited for this one. The espresso is excellent, the drinks have all been hot, even when adding milk from the Arachino, the whole spinning process takes about 15 seconds, or less, to pour into the cup, and, most surprisingly, the new coffee-sized cartridges are awesome. They taste nothing like regular, ground grocery store coffee in a can. They are much more flavorful, much stronger, and seem fresher even than using whole coffee with a grinder, maybe it's from being sealed in the aluminum cartridges. The Nespresso Club has been great, they ship coffee and espresso cartridges within two days, and seem to have excellent customer service. I emailed a question to them and had a personal answer, not a canned answer, within about three hours. My final comment, I have tried Keurig coffee in the past, and now have this for Tuoline, the Keurig wins on availability, but if you want a single serve coffee maker, and actually appreciate and like the taste of good coffee, then this machine wins hands down. Edit. Just wanted to add, based on another reviewer's inaccurate comments, that you can adjust the volume of the pour to between 0.3 ounces and 17 ounces by a simple process that is clearly explained in the owner's manual. The machine remembers your programmed espresso levels and coffee levels separately, and keeps that programming until you reset it. 5.0 out of 5 stars. A great little machine. I purchased this Nespresso over to Olean coffee machine to replace my two failing current machines. I am extremely happy that I did buy this instead of another Keurig machine. Initially, I intended on buying the Cuisinart K-Cup machine. 
But after reading the reviews here, I became extremely hesitant. The chief complaint was the cup not filling all the way, which is similar to the same issue that has plagued my two machines. After talking it over with my wife, she suggested getting an espresso machine. We used an espresso machine in France about 10 years ago and know that they make an excellent espresso. I was apprehensive since I really didn't want to spend that much money on a coffee maker that only makes espresso. So Amazon I went to see what espresso had to offer. I was very excited to see that they now have a machine that makes American style coffee. Seeing how both machines were similar in cost, I decided to go with the Virtualine. I couldn't be happier with my choice. As is usual, my Virtualine came within two days. Thank you FedEx. Like a child on Christmas, I was excited to see the box. The box was huge. I thought for certain that Amazon used too big of a box. No, it was the correct size. I was really impressed with how well this was packed. Inside the Amazon box, was this big Nespresso box. Seeing how big the box was, I was a little nervous that it was not going to fit in my kitchen. Upon opening that box, there was another two boxes in the Nespresso box. One was for the Virtualine and the other was for the Aerochino Frother. Nespresso really went out of their way to make certain that this beautiful machine will arrive in one piece. Like the father in A Christmas Story taking out his lamb, I carefully removed the Virtualine and Aerochino from their boxes, and marveled at the beauty of this contraption. Having a small kitchen, I had to move things around to make sure that this machine is well displayed for family members who do not have this and wish they did. Smiley face, I was surprised to see that this isn't much smaller than my Keurig machine. I decided to place this where I had my old machine. After putting the machine together, I had to have my first cup of coffee. Once I filled the machine with bottled water, I turned it on and let it go through the cleaning process. Or so I thought. I let the machine sit for 5 minutes while I thought it was going through the cleaning process. Now it's the moment I've been waiting for for 2 days, the Java. I open the cartridge holder, insert one Elvacho cartridge, close it, and away we go. Houston we have a problem, nothing is coming out. Dear Lord, is my wonderful machine broke? Say it ain't so. I was a roller coaster of emotions. After regaining my composure, I did something no man in history will ever admit doing. I read the instructions. Ah, oh, I forgot to turn the lever to lock. So start all over again, three quick presses of the brew button and sure enough, this time it cleans the system. I was a little worried that I wasted my Elvacho cartridge since it was punctured earlier. I read on the web that if you carefully put foil on the cartridge, you will be able to reuse it. I gave it a shot and surprisingly it worked. That little machine sounded like a little jet engine, it was spinning that cartridge during the brew super fast. I was super impressed with the quality of the brew. There is honestly no comparison between the Keurig and Espresso system. My American coffee came out frothy and the flavor bold. By contrast, AK cup would be watery and most of the time weak. Yes you can get an espresso roast for the Keurig, but the flavor is still weak compared to the Virtuoli. Now that I finished this American cup of coffee it was on to the espresso type of coffee. As the coffee was brewing, I got the Aerochino ready for work. It couldn't have been any easier. Add milk to fill line, put Aerochino on base, press red button and away we go. In a couple of minutes the Aerochino shuts off and the froth is ready for your pleasure. I was happy with the outcome of the froth, so thick and yummy. It was seriously thick. I was in Java heaven. My sister-in-law stopped by, saw me and my wonderful coffee, and asked me to make her one, which I obliged. The second cup is going smoothly, then all of a sudden I went to pour the froth, gasp. Where are you froth? I dumped it and gave it another go. Same thing. The only difference was where I purchased the milk from. The first batch of milk used was from ANP, the second from ShopRite. After doing some research regarding this issue, I found out that this is actually a common problem with the Aerochino. Depending on the milk, how old it is, if there is a preservative in it to prevent curdling in hot liquids will determine your ability to froth. This was also confirmed to me by Nespresso reps at Sir Law Table. They recommend using skim milk for the best froth. No thank you. I will stick with the 2%. There are two familiar looking compartments on the Virtualine. The left side is the water reservoir and the right side is where the cartridges get ejected when you open the machine to put in a new cartridge. I thought that was a pretty neat feature, since I've burned my fingers on occasion when brewing K-cups. Another nice little feature is the cup holder. The cup holder can be moved to a higher position when you are brewing espresso. That is not a deal breaker in any way. 
Just a nice little feature. It shows that they are paying attention to details in the machine. Another nice feature of this coffee maker is that it brews the coffee at certain temperatures based upon the barcode on the cartridge. There is no need to manually adjust the water temperature. That said, it's also a negative. For some reason, I find that my Nespresso coffee cools a lot faster than the Keurig coffee. This is not a deal breaker to me. But if my wife's grandmother were still alive, she'd go ballistic because her coffee wasn't hot enough. I believe that Keurig wins on this feature. As of now there are 9 coffee flavors and 4 espresso flavors available for the Virtualine. According to the Nespresso representative at Sir Law Table, they expect to have at least one holiday flavor available for the Virtualine coming this holiday season. Keurig, on the other hand, has probably hundreds of different coffees available to brew. You also have the ability to brew your own coffee with the insert most machines gladly provide. Nespresso, on the other hand, has an Apple-like control on their Virtualine system. A real negative with Virtualine is that you have to go to one of their boutiques to buy the coffee, or buy online at their website. If you choose to buy online, you need to buy a minimum of 150 cartridges to receive free shipping. On one hand I understand that doing this controls the quantity of the coffee. But on the other hand, it makes the Virtualine cartridge cost excessively high. A K cup probably cost around $0.65 to brew, compared to $1.10 for American coffee and $0.88 for espresso coffee. Amazon offers a system where you can reuse your cartridge via the foil trick. But it's mixed results. The Arachino frother is a nice little gadget. With it, you are able to froth milk or whip milk. Depending on the beater used determines froth or whipped. Press the button once, and it also heats the milk. Hold the button for approximately 2 seconds makes it cold, which is suitable for iced coffees, lattes. If you love your cup of coffee, and the convenience of this type of machine, then I would recommend getting this. On a side note, I purchased this for $213.05. 4 days later, the price for this went down $13.20. I contacted Amazon about this and they promptly issued me a credit of the product you see in the picture. Please go to the link in the description to get it for a low price. Firstly, my wife and I are huge coffee lovers. We spend a few hundred a month on Starbucks, CBN, TL and Pete's, sadly. We've used Kurix, the Boo, and other HomePod systems. We were looking for a coffee maker that 1, makes good espresso slash latte 2, makes good coffee 3, doesn't require massive cleanup and 4, doesn't cost $1,200. This one beats all I've tried and meets all the criteria. I'd held off the Nespresso because you have to order the pods and it didn't make regular cups of coffee. Both issues solved. Firstly local boutiques sell the pods and you can order them through the Nespresso app and Amazon with a two-day delivery. The Virtualine makes regular coffee. Sweet. About the machines, the Virtualine is completely re-engineered. It takes a bar-coded pod, which the machine reads spins the pod at high speed while injecting over 19 billion Argentine pesos of pressure. The result is a very creamy, crema, coffee or espresso before you even add creamer slash milk. Works exactly as they advertise. The Arisino Plus is my new favorite toy. 